In a shocking incident that has left many stunned, Ms. Lontla Tanjovu, widow of the late General Pilani Tanjovu, was tragically shot and killed in First Lawrence, Johannesburg. This latest tragedy has raised suspicions, especially given her late husband's connection to the ongoing Senzo Mayua murder trial. General Pilani Tanjovu, a police officer who was one of the first on the scene when Mayua was shot, had died under unusual circumstances shortly before he was scheduled to testify in court. Now his wife's sudden death is casting a shadow of doubt and unease over the ongoing investigation. This incident unfolded on a Sunday afternoon when Ms. Ndlovu was leaving a local shopping mall. As she drove away, her car was struck by stray bullets, resulting in her untimely death. Ms. Ndlovu, who had recently left her home in Johannesburg and settled in Shawegwazul Natal, had come to Fosloris for a brief visit. The exact circumstances and motives behind her murder remain unknown, leaving her family and the wider public with many unanswered questions. Family members of Ms. Ndlovu are devastated. Mr. Jabula Ndlovu, her brother-in-law, expressed deep confusion and sorrow. He shared that, to his knowledge, Ms. Ndlovu had no unknown enemies or reasons for anyone to harm her. We do not understand why this happened, Mr. Ndlovu stated, emphasizing how completely unexpected this tragedy was for the family. The family's grief is compounded by the shock that it comes so soon after the death of General Pilani Ndlovu. General Ndlovu's passing, which occurred just days before he was set to testify in the Mayua trial, sparked widespread speculation, with some alleging he may have been poisoned to prevent him from taking the stand. His insights into the night of Mayua's death could have provided critical information, and some believe his testimony might have influenced the trial's outcome. Ms. Ndlovu's sudden and violent death is now fueling further speculation, with many wondering if she, too, held sensitive knowledge related to her husband's case. Lieutenant Colonel Mavela Masondo, a spokesperson for the Johannesburg Police, confirmed the incident and revealed that a murder investigation is actively underway. According to Masondo, Ms. Ndlovu was driving alone when unknown assailants fired at her vehicle from another car. The suspects remain at large and the motive for the attack is unclear. The police are calling on the public to provide any information that might aid their investigation, emphasizing the importance of community cooperation in solving this case. Further complicating the case, Ms. Simobina Mapisa, who represents the families of the defendants in the ongoing trial, shared her concerns over Ms. Ndlovu's death. She highlighted that General Ndlovu's anticipated testimony could have been a turning point in the trial, particularly because he was among the first who arrived at the crime scene. Ms. Mapisa suggested that Ms. Ndlovu's murder might not be random, hinting at a possible connection between her death and her husband's past involvement with the case. Ms. Mapisa voiced additional concerns regarding the safety of other witnesses linked to the Miwa trial. There have been previous reports of violence against those connected to the case, with some individuals even going missing. She emphasized the importance of protecting witnesses and urged anyone with relevant information about Ms. Ndlovu's death to assist authorities. The police has been encouraged to report any leads through the crime hotline 0800 one The deaths of General Pilani and Nontla Jalrovu have left a mark on the local community. Both figures are now viewed as potential victims in a chilling pattern of violence that may be linked to the unresolved mysteries surrounding Mayua's death. Community members and concerned citizens are now urging authorities to resolve these cases swiftly and bring those responsible to justice. An investigation into Ms. Ndlovu's murder moves forward. The unanswered questions around her death and death of her husband continue to weigh heavily on the community. The deaths of the general and Ms. Ndlovu have stirred a sense of urgency, with calls for justice echoing across Johannesburg. The police have pledged to uncover the truth, but until they do, the speculation surrounding the Ndlovu family's tragedies will continue to fuel public suspicion.